every single one of you for being here tonight. We love you so much. And thank you. This night sold out in three hours, so thank you for that. And it sold out in three hours in love for the Actors Fund. So now I'm gonna read a little about why we're all here tonight in this room other than to celebrate our incredible show. I'm gonna skip, thank you all for being here tonight with us. It's been a dream come true, we've been together again. Uh, the performing arts and entertainment industry was one of the first to shut down when COVID-19 emerged in the United States and it's been among the last to slowly return. But throughout the past 20 months, the Actors Fund has gone above and beyond to take care of our community. When people suddenly needed help paying medical bills, grocery bills, and their rent, the Actors Fund was there to help. Since, yeah, so. Since March of 2020, the fund has distributed more than $24.2 million in emergency financial assistance to people in need in the entertainment industry. And when our colleagues throughout the country lost all their jobs with no warning, or lost health insurance due to unemployment or faced unprecedented obstacles and hardships, the Actors Fund was there with career guidance, health insurance counseling, mental health resources, affordable housing, support groups, and so much more. So you can see why we're all so proud to stand here on stage for the Actors Fund. Sponsors including Tom Hulse, Ira Pittleman, the Tower Foundation, Robert and Elizabeth Balenson, Andy Eilisberg, uh, Dr. Steve Fallick, and Susan Saltstein. Your generosity helped make tonight possible, and we can't thank you enough. We want to thank uh, RCI. We want to thank, yeah, RCI. <laughs> taking care of us. We want to thank HBO. Uh, we want to thank Radical Media. We want to thank everybody here at the Imperial Theater, the staff, front of house, backstage. So thank you so much for allowing us to do this. I want to a special shout out to Richard and our stage management. And what I want to do before we leave, I promise this is it. Uh, I'd like to do a little exercise where I'd like to have everybody sit down for one second. Because this night has been incredibly special because every single original cast member and every single original band member But there's a lot of other uh, Spring Awakening family members in the audience. If you could hold your applause until I finish this list of names. But if, when you hear your name, would you please stand up? These are our other original members. Uh, Steven Sater, please stand. Duncan Sheik, please stand. Anne-Marie Malazzo, please stand. Abby Strassler, please, is no one standing? Come on. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, they got the cheap seats. You got it. They got the show. Uh, Susan Bilferty, please stand. Wait, actually, can I bring up the house lights for this? This too much to ask. Can I bring up the house lights? Where's that? Oh my god, the stage management team! Sater, Duncan Sheep, Anne Marie Malazzo, Abby Strassler, Susan Hilferty, Christine Jones, Jim Carnahan, Carrie Gardner, Brian Ronan, Kevin Adams, Beatrice, yes, all right, Kevin Adams. <laughs> Beatrice Terry uh, is our associate director of the show, and she passed, uh, has since passed, since, uh, since we completed our run, but I'd like to ask uh, Gretchen and Beckett to stand up in her honor, please. Uh, Tom Hulse, Ira Pittleman, 
Francis Ellers, Joanne Hunter, Sam Ellis, Neil Pepe. <laughs> Mary McCann, <laughs> Jordan Ross, and I think we might even have some of our company members' parents in the audience, if you could please stand up. I'd like to ask uh, our director, Michael Mayer, to stand up. extraordinary experience for us and we couldn't wait to tell the story in front of an audience again in honor of the Actors Fund. Thank you so much all for being here tonight and making our dream come true.